Hi, welcome to ERP Next Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to track serialized inventory in ERP Next. If you assign a unique value or ID to each unit of an item, then you should set that item as a serialized item. Let's check how an item can be set as a serialized item. Check this field to set this item as a serialized item. If you want to generate serial numbers based on the series, then mention the series in this field. However, if this is a bot item, which comes with a unique serial number, then you should leave this field blank. Let's save this item. For the serialized item, Opening balance is updated via stock entry. Select material receipt as a purpose. Update posting date and time as needed. Select a warehouse in which opening stock is to be updated. Select a serialized item. If you have entered two quantities, then two serial numbers should be entered here. Select an account in which opening balance will be posted for an item. Let's save and submit this stock entry. These are the serial numbers which are created for this item. These are the serial numbers which were created based on stock entry made for updating opening stock balance of a serialized item. In the Serial Number Master, basic item details are updated. In this section, purchase or manufacturing details are captured for this serial number. Now, let's check how serialized numbers can be auto-generated based on naming series. You can enable naming series based serializing for the items which are manufactured in-house. This is a naming series based on which serial numbers are auto-generated. This is a manufacture entry created for the serialized item. For help on how to manage a production order, check relevant help video. Let's submit this stock entry. On submission of manufacture entry, serial numbers are created based on naming series defined in the item master. Just like purchase detail, serial number selling details are also updated here. Let's create a sales transaction for the serial no and check it impacts. This is a delivery note of a serialized item. Here, enter serial numbers based on item's delivery quantity. Let's submit this delivery note. Now, let's go and check the impact on this delivery note on the serial number master.
Once serial number is delivery, warehouse name is reset from it. In this section, customer and delivery details are fetched. Based on the item's delivery note, warranty, and AMC details is also updated in the serial number. For the serialized item, the stock balance and stock ledgers are also tracked based on the in-stock serial numbers of the item. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.